So this carbon dioxide detector was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review, and it's a portable carbon dioxide detector. Pretty handy to have around. Um, you got a little carabiner, so you can put it on, on your backpack or on your belt loop or wherever you may be carrying that. Uh, you also get a, a charge cable to go right along with you to keep your battery completely charged. Now it does have an alarm when your parts per million crosses 1,000 parts per million. Now, when I first opened this and powered it on, I did have a full battery, and it also said that I had about 2,000 parts per million, so um, I highly suggest that when you first get this out of the box, that you follow the directions to recalibrate your carbon dioxide detector. Uh, I knew that it wasn't right because I have other carbon dioxide detectors around the house and none of them are going off. And so I reset that right away, calibrated it right away. I still think that the parts per million are, uh, are a bit high right now, but uh, we can recalibrate that in just a few seconds. So to recalibrate, the instruction manual gives you the steps to go by to recalibrate your carbon dioxide detector. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the first thing we're going to do is long press the power button. Okay, so to recalibrate, we're going to hold our power button for 10 seconds. And then when it displays eights all across the screen, then we are going to press the power button three more times. One, two, three. And then it's going to say 1230 and we're going to push the power button again. And now it says 400 and then we're just going to let that set. And uh, pretty soon it's going to drop down to 200 and do a 200 second count and it's recalibrating your uh, carbon dioxide parts per million within the air. So as this counts down, the alarm may go off. And if your alarm does go off at an unexpected time or it's at a time when you know that it is not really carbon dioxide, you can, uh, you can simply press your power button twice to turn that alarm off. So we'll hold on here for just a minute and uh, make sure that this is recalibrated. It should be around 400 or, or less. So the recalibration process is just about done. And we passed, and that's what we want to see after the recalibration. And now that it says pass, it should go back to a normal displayed screen showing the parts per million that are in the air. And there you have 400, and uh, so we're safe. Now you can see down on the bottom, there's a green, yellow, orange, and red and uh, my indicator is hovering over the green, which means that we're safe and we're good to go. And again, you're gonna be safe uh, and the alarm is not gonna sound until it reaches 1,000 parts per million. And once it does that, then uh, you just wanna take safety precautions, recalibrate and, uh, and see if that is actually the case within your, uh, within your residence. And then if it is, then you need to take the correct safety precautions and do what is right. Maybe make some phone calls, get out of the house, Make sure that you're safe and uh, get that double checked out. Now, after five minutes of inactivity, your screen is just going to go blank and it'll be in standby mode, but it'll still be detecting the carbon dioxide in the air. If you wish to power it off, you can hold it until it beeps and then it'll power off. There you go. And just like that, it's powered off.